guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back playing some Conan. I finally got my computer reformatted. I got my internet back up and working. I haven't been able to play for like three yeah. days. It's been crazy. Uh, if you guys do enjoy these videos, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe. So, night is falling, but look around us before it does. Something looks weird about our base, don't you think? I feel like there's a little bit of something missing. Like the whole damn base. Someone came in and just tore everything up when we were offline and it's terrible. Um, there's a couple little redeeming qualities. Number one, it has yeah. us an opportunity to move. And oh, and this is how they did it by the way, because our gate's still here. They broke the foundations on this side and like climbed up that way. I just rebuilt those stairs there. They destroyed all the stairs. So I've went and gathered a little bit of stuff to get myself just some cloth armor and like stone tools um, and made a few boxes. But I found they, I don't, they were just here to destroy stuff because there was a couple bags laying around. I don't know how long the bags stayed. I don't know if it was recent or if it was a glitch, but there was a couple, uh, there was a bag over here. It must have been from the forges because it had like 400 iron in it, iron bars. And then uh, over here, there was another bag with a bunch of stuff. Uh, so this is the stuff I, I just gathered right now. But check this out. Look how much stuff they left. Leather, thick leather, all, all sorts of iron. Wait, did I grab any steel? I don't think there's any steel. No, just iron, whatever. But that's a ton of stuff to start with. So for all, oh, and also they destroyed one of our wheels of pain. Um, but we still have this one, which we can destroy if we're gonna move and there's a thrall in there. And there's still a couple arches on top. So we are definitely not back to square one. And of course we're already leveled up. Um, but man, they, they certainly did a number. So I'm gonna go ahead and gather up a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm probably gonna build a couple things here just to like, like a armor and whatnot, just to kind of get back to where I was, at least to a certain extent. Um, I can't go all the way to heavy stuff. Oh, I can't even do it in my inventory. Um, but I can at least get like medium armor and some good weapons so we can actually go scout out a good base location. I've been looking around some, and I think I'm gonna do it quite differently than I had planned on doing it before. Oh, it's already getting dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that stuff taken care of, and uh, then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, we are geared up in medium and iron stuff. Hopefully we'll get to heavy and steel stuff again soon. Um, I'm, oh, I need some water. Oh, oh, you know, I didn't make a water skin. All right, I gotta make a water skin and uh, get some meat and get a campfire going with some meat. And uh, then we can start looking for a new place. All right, guys, so I think I picked where I think is gonna be the next base spot and it's right there on top of this pillar here. Uh, and now it doesn't look like anything super special. I did place a bedroll down here. Make sure to claim it. Um, oh, what was that? Something attacking? But let me show you why I chose it. Now, I did cheat a little bit. I went into single player and uh, kind of flew around to pick for spots and then actually came here to, to find it. Um, there are a bunch of elephants around, so we do gotta be a bit careful. But look, we got trees and bushes here. It's nice, right? Beautiful. And... The river that leads to the pirate ship is right there. And there's also some metal down there and across the way. Um, and over there, there's some metal. And there's some metal on the other side of our pillar that we've picked. Or uh, whatever you want to call it. Big rock that we're going to build on. Um, let me kind of show you the other side. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it's a good thing he's stuck in the rock. Ah. I mean, I'm sure we can take one on, but we don't have our best stuff. And inside those ruins right there... There's a ton of thralls, so we'll be right next to the thrall area, and on the other side of that, there's a bunch more metal. And, oh, see now where those elephants are right there? That's where we want to be. So I'm going to go ahead and gather up some materials so we can start doing a bit of building, see if we can get to the top. Oh, man, that guy's scaring me. We should probably take him out. Let's take him out. We got this. We have no healing potions or anything. <laughs> yeah, you can go Assuming I'm actually hitting you. Uh, come on. God. Oh, the sword is left, which lets damage to my mother's old sword. Oh, we actually might be in trouble. Oh, we got him. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> oh, man, he flew. All right, so we're going to have to be careful because that guy took us down to half health, and that was with him being stuck. Um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and gather up some stuff and do a bit of building, just a tad, and then I'll bring you back. All right, we've got a few pieces made, so I want to kind of show you how I plan on doing this. Um, and hopefully it works. So let's start with the foundation. Uh, where, 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 where? Okay, what does this look like? Okay, so let's say one, two, let's start with it right here. I'm thinking this is gonna be the spot. Uh, 
like that place. There it goes. Awesome. I didn't actually place two, did I? Ooh, that might be a little bit far in. Well, maybe not. And we'll do one, two, three. So now we can walk up that way. Ooh, that's a little bit. That's cutting it a little close. Is this rock harvestable? Sure isn't. Uh, I might have to redo that because I want to be able to easily walk up this part. Or you know what? Maybe, you know what we'll do? Maybe let's do this. Let's destroy this bottom one and do. Uh huh. Let's do this. Let's destroy that one as well. And let's break this. And do that. Beautiful. So now we can just run up this way. And of course, now it doesn't make any sense because I did that wrong. <laughs> Already going so good. Okay. And demolish this. Okay, so it's a start. It's a start. So we got a little ramp going up. Now what we need is to make more stairs, and we're almost already out of resources. But now that it's up, I can actually go up this way. Ah, see that? See how smart that is? All right, let me gather a bit more, and then I'll keep showing you. All right, we've got a few more pieces made and a bit more materials, so we're gonna do that, and then go up again like this. Now, this is the key. We gotta place another foundation. Oh, wait, ah, can I place it from there? Oh, I hope this actually works, and this is not a terrible idea. Why isn't it snapping up there? Why is it only snapping to that? Because I don't like that at all. Uh, I wonder if that would work. Can we do another one up? Sure can. Now will it snap up there? Sure won't. Okay, let's try this one. So now, we can run up. And then keep going up all the way to here. Look, we're already almost to the top. It's perfect. But now, let's see if this works. So if I break this stair... Yes, see, now people can't get up to raid the base. Nick, yeah, I don't think there's gonna be any way. We'll have to do some testing. So now, whenever I log off at night, we can just destroy that stair, and then we're good to go. See how that works? <laughs> uh, now, to change the angle of the stairs, so we wanna keep it going towards the wall. We should be able to use one of these. Like that. And can we use, where would the stairs be facing there? Coming in, I kinda wanna come a little bit more in. Let's try one more in first. It might be too much though. But I kinda want it to go straight up, ah! Gotta watch out for that. Straight up into Will you do that one, please? No, snap. Snap where I want you to snap. Okay, no, so I think we're gonna have to do just one because this is too much of a pain. Let's do like, so. And then, let's make a couple more of those and I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing built all the way to the top. All right, guys, so we have built to the top, uh, but now we have a bit of an elephant issue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure what to do here. Gotta run up and kill him really fast. Ugh. Let's get him. Oh, there's two though. I feel like we're probably gonna be bad. This is probably gonna be bad. We don't have any health potions or any of that. Oh, come on. Take out as we can. We can just get one down and run. That'd be okay. Oh, that's not gonna happen. Run. Ooh. Ah. No, no, no. Oh. Oh, that's gonna be a hard place to get our body to. Luckily, we've got a sleeping bag nearby. All right, our body actually fell to the ground, so it made it not hard at all to get my stuff back. But I don't know how long it takes wild things to heal. I'm wondering if now they'll still be injured and finish the job. Oh, wait, no, run away, run away, run away. Mm hmm, do smart things, not stupid things. Okay, uh, we have another sleeping bag. We have not yet put it down. Just put it down. And claim it. Okay, now let's go. Taste All right, go down, stupid elephant. We got you. Feel it. This is gonna be so good. Oh. Someone died. Oh, one down. Okay, now run. You gonna come? Okay, let's get down. Can we get down? Can we get down? Where's it? Uh oh. 
Oh, is he gonna jump down here? Oh! You are one scary elephant. Okay, he definitely hit us there, so let's back up. Uh, I definitely can- Oh, there's the stairs. Sweet, okay. So I'm gonna sit here and regen. And then once we're all genned up, I'm gonna kill that elephant, and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, we are on top of our new base area. Now I know it's small. I mean, look how small this is. A little down area there at least, but it's a little small. But, uh, well, first thing I'm gonna do is put down a foundation to hopefully keep those elephants from respawning. Just like that. Okay, perfect. And hopefully that works. Um, so now we're gonna build some stuff up here. I think I'm gonna put a, get more materials for, actually, can I make another bedroll right now? Just need some twine. Let's make some of that and uh, maybe make some boxes or foundations. I don't really know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna start getting this sucker built, even though we're probably not gonna finish it today or come anywhere close to finishing it, um, but we're definitely gonna wait for daylight. But where's the torch? Okay. But check out how cool this stairwell is, because we kind of ran up it. Um, so we have foundations here. Anywhere that we have foundations is gonna keep this thing sturdy. So like if I break this stair here, everything above it and below it will still be supported by more foundations. See what I mean? So even if down here at the very bottom, someone can jump up and break this, which they absolutely can, uh, it won't matter because that will not keep everything from, or uh, everything will collapse. It'll still have plenty of support in the higher areas. But now this, this way at nighttime, I can demolish one of these and then we'll have ourselves uh, a base that nobody can get to. And that's amazing. Now, I was a little concerned about how close the other area was. Oh yeah, there's no way, Never mind. I will say, oh, can you jump from the other one to here? But no, and because people can't build where you have built or anywhere close to it, it kind of keeps it, oh, keeps people from encroaching. Now I'm kind of wondering here, should I do this? And then, yeah, there we go. Makes things a little bit easier. I mean, right now we have to jump, but when it's all together and that's just part of the base, it'll make a lot more sense. Perfect. And now we, now we can just start building off of this little guy. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and gather a bunch more stuff and get to building. All right, guys, so we have the foundation of the base built. Uh, so it's actually ended up being a little bigger than I thought. It should be plenty big for us. There's a little more room here than I thought there was gonna be. But let's go ahead and put the door here so I don't have to try to find the stairs every time. I already made some wall pieces. Oh man, that's really bright when it's right in your face, isn't it? So let's do some of this. And then do some regular walls. Yeah. Oop. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna start going and building the walls around. I think each level will be too high. I mean, we can do one high and that should fit everything, I think. Maybe, actually, I don't know if the crafting stations will all fit in one high. But yeah. two high just looks better. So we're gonna have to do multiple levels because it is a smaller base and we want to build high up. Um, but I'm gonna start building the walls around and we'll see how far I get. All right, guys, so we've got some of the walls put up and I really only needed the first layer, but I had enough materials, so I went ahead and went a little bit higher. Um, now I've been gathering up stuff. I made some more boxes, which are only temporary yeah. for this location at least. Um, now I want, can I actually stand on top of the boxes so I can access all of them at once? Oh, perfect. So I'm about to get super overburdened. I'm just gonna take all. Nope, nothing on that one yet. Take all. Can we carry it all? Because I want to do is start making some of the crafting stations. And so I'm just gonna grab everything and see what we can make. I know we can make some of the forges. Ooh, we can make four. Uh, this is gonna require iron bars, which we don't have enough of, and brick, which we have back at the other place. Carpenter's bench. Tannery needs bark and twine. Okay, so let's make a carpenter's bench. Let's, uh, da, da, da. 20, we can make 24 twine and it takes 25. Do we have any right now? Oh, we have enough. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a bunch of twine and then we'll make the tannery and I'll make all the forges that we can make. Oh, what about the armor's bench? That takes hide. Okay, we need a bit more hide. Awesome, so I'm gonna sort of get the crafting stations made and then placed and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, I got everything placed. We have a tannery here, a tannery there, four forges, a fireball cauldron, two blacksmith benches, which look how I put them. I saw it in somebody else's video. That's definitely a cool way to do it. An armor's bench, a carpenter's bench, and two campfires. We also built this little bridge here. Check this out. 
to walk over to this place over here, and I think this is where we're gonna go and put the wheels of pain. Wheel of pains? Wheels of pain? Uh, we'll put them over here, and, uh, cause there's not a whole lot of room here. I think we'll drop a well down over here. I gather, I did a few runs, uh, to the old base to gather the stuff that was left over there, which helped us build everything, and I grabbed the two, uh, archers that we still had over there who survived our massacre. Um, so I went ahead and tore down uh, this stair right here. And I have a bunch of stairs already pre-made for when we log in and out and whatnot to be able to get in and out of the base, because that's what we're gonna have to do from now on to keep people from raiding us. It's terrible. But it is what it is. What can you do? But anyways, guys, for today, I do think that is gonna be it. Uh, if you did enjoy the video or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe if you have not done so already. You can also hit me up on all your social medias, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Facebook, even your Google Plus, even though no one ever uses yeah. it. And also check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Obadiax. But like I said, for today, guys, that is gonna be it. I do appreciate you coming to hang out with me. And, and until next time, I will see you later.